New here at 430 attorneys for an alleged victim of former Chicago area doctor Fabio Ortega are calling for a new investigation into the allegations against him. Ortega is accused of assaulting hundreds of women over the last three decades. WGN's Dana Rebic is in the loop with more. Dana. Well, today we heard for the first time from one of these victims. She is part of this civil suit. She's sharing her story as attorneys, as you mentioned, are pushing for a new criminal investigation into this former doctor. I'm not afraid of him. I, I want justice to be done. For the first time, Erica Matos is speaking publicly about the sexual abuse she says she endured at the hands of her former gynecologist, Dr. Fabio Ortega. Why is it you did that to me? Why if I had all the confidence in you as a doctor? Mato saw Dr. Ortega in the emergency room at Swedish Covenant Hospital for an ovarian cyst and visited him for follow up care. She is one of 200 women her attorneys represent who say Dr. Ortega sexually abused them. Some of the allegations dating back to the early 90s while Ortega worked at Swedish Covenant and North Shore University Health System, now known as Endeavor Health. We represent women who Fabio Ortega sexually assaulted right after giving birth. We represent women who were sexually assaulted when they were seeking medical care because they were in pain. We represent women who were sexually assaulted by Fabio Ortega when they were going to the gynecologist for their very first pap smear. Attorneys alleging Ortega was protected by the hospital systems that employed him. When aware he was under investigation in 2017, North Shore continued to allow him to see patients. In 2021, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office investigated Ortega. He pleaded guilty to criminal sexual abuse involving two patients and served one year in prison, Endeavor Health paying his legal fees. Attorneys representing these victims want Kim Fox's office to reopen an investigation, but says so far she has not been receptive. We are asking that the new state's attorney that succeeds Kim Fox, and we have been in contact uh, with Eileen Burke O'Neill, and we have asked her to take this, this issue up. She was shocked by the allegation. She was shocked by the current state's attorney's efforts not to undertake any further investigation, and we hope uh, that the next state's attorney will take those actions if Kim Fox's office will not. We did reach out to Swedish Covenant Hospital and Endeavor Health for comment. Endeavor did get back to us sending a statement that says in part, Fabio Ortega is not affiliated with Endeavor Health and has not provided care at any of our facilities in more than six years. Since these events, we underwent a rigorous process to review and enhance our policies across all of our hospitals and care sites to ensure we have an environment that supports reporting of threatened or actual abuse. We also reached out to Kim Fox's office, uh, but did not hear back from them on this push to reopen an investigation. These attorneys did send her a formal letter making that request today, also sending the same letter to Attorney General Kwame Raoul. Live in River North, Dana Rebic, WGN News.